Hi. So I have, you know, for everybody watching, um, I posted a video yesterday and the day before called the, A Message. And I filmed this and recorded this. And it, the intent of this is still to for the people who, you know, are part of the situation to see how much I cared about them, care about them still, and how much they hurt me. Um, I, a friend of mine, asked me to pull it because they didn't want to, they felt like this was an interpersonal thing and it's, pu and it's public. And at the time, I still gave a shit about, um, you know, fixing things. And so I did. Um, I talked to more friends. I processed some more. I talked to a therapist. And I've re-uploaded it to my second channel. And I also re and then this morning re-uploaded it to this channel because I feel like... Um, at this moment, I my my feelings um, are more important. Um, for clarity, uh, I have been a, a member of a friend group, and I'm doing this because I uh, am doing this not be to share this this with the world, but because talking into a camera and posting it on YouTube is just therapeutic for me and it's how I am processing my feelings here. And so I don't care if people want to keep it private. Not my fucking problem. Um, I have been, this friend group was, I met them when my mother went up to a group of boys and girls and asked, hey, y'all like video games? And they're like, yeah. And she's like, all right, I'm going to sit your ass down. And I've known them ever since. These guys, gals, and non-binary folks have been my friends for a very, very, very long time. And I've loved them and still love them to a significant degree to this day. Um... Apparently, uh, one individual in this group has had issues with me for a long time. Completely justifiable, by the way. I make, I while I did not know this person was a furry, they I made furry jokes a lot. And while uh, my one friend's significant other had asked him, made made her un her uncomfort known, and he uh, told me about it, and I adjusted my behavior accordingly, at least with some you know, occasional screw-ups because I'm not perfect. Um, I didn't know this person was that. Um, and I don't think this was the only thing. I might be wrong, but three years of not communicating with me because of social anxiety and uh, fear of conflict is completely justifiable. I mean, do I, do I feel at some level like there was a moment of clarity where... Um, if like you could have come in, like where you either were on meds or in, or you or like you were in it up and like you had endorphins and we talked about it, like sure. But you know, at the end of the day, like that's predicated on that. Like that assumption is predicated on this person valuing my friendship in our history enough to actually do that. I can't change my behavior if nobody tells me what I did wrong. And I'm more than happy, and, and this catalyst was a message with people saying, hey, don't make jokes about furries, don't talk about politics in the voice chat when people are unwinding, and don't be harsh, and don't be abrasive. All three of those things I am more than happy to do. But the fucking fact that, A, the only reason I know about this is because one of our friends found out and was so appalled by by people's behavior that it had to be it was had to be it had to be forced into the group for everybody and I don't know who knew what but the fact that two out of our three friends and it wasn't even the friend and these two friends weren't even one of the people that had like this three young years which I can fucking forgive on some level not one of these three people valued 
our history, my love, for, like, like d d they didn't value our history. They didn't even value me enough to come up with a solution. So it's like either, so the, 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 the question being posed was, this person's emotional safety is compromised by, by me being present. The solution to that, there are, are, are plenty. There's plenty of solutions to solve that. But instead of, 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 of practical solutions to solve my behavior, to, for me to atone, to put my, for me to put the effort in, to be, to like, to, to prove myself to, that I, that, that, that I love and care about these people enough to be, to like, to, 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 to bend, to jump through hoops and bend over backwards to be that person that they, that, that like, that they feel comfortable around again. Instead of that, they decided that the binary, they decided to make it a binary choice and not even consider that any of me, our history, our friendship, our memories, a decade together as a group, they just decided, all right, bet. Um, decision is, do we give him the boot or do we let him stay? One person said, he's got to go. Phase, emotional safety is more important. That hurt. I don't think that person really liked me that much anyways, but I still loved and cared about him. And then the other person said, I don't care either way. I don't care either way. Wow. So willing to throw me away to the side and disregard me, our friendship, for fuck's sake, dude, you're the person who put me on a fallout, for God's sake. I'm... I bought you guys games so we could play them together. I bought y'all the... I, like, I bought people who didn't own it, the, the Witch Queen through Steam, so we could play it together, Destiny together as a group. I tried to... Get into Final Fantasy XIV because I know for two of you that is a very important game and I wanted to be able to play with you. And you don't care either way. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I get it. I've always been separate, different from you guys. All of y'all operate on the same damn wavelength. I swear y'all can finish your own, each other's sentences. It's a hive mind. And I was never a part of it. But y'all loved me nonetheless. At least I felt. When I was in middle school and when I was in high school, I had nobody really. I had a few friends, but I wasn't close to anybody like I was close to y'all at the time. I was ostracized. Nobody wanted me when I was when I, at that period of my life. Y'all were the only fucking friends I had. The only friends I had that loved and cared about me and wanted me around because I was me. Because I was someone important to you. And despite me not liking fucking Team Fortress 2 and Gary's Mod at the time, the same level y'all did, y'all still cared about me. Y'all invited me to sleepovers and shit when we were, when we were, when we were children. I'm hurt. And frankly, I don't give a fuck about your feelings right now either, like, to be honest. I don't want to handle you and kill clubs. I don't want to be cognizant of your feelings because I just lost my fucking friends because they don't, they didn't care about me as much as I cared about them. Did I, do, did I make some mistakes and do wrong? Hell yeah, I did. And I would be more than fucking happy to atone for him if I knew that that, that that time, effort, and emotional labor would even fucking matter to you. You don't want conflict? I respect that. That's why I'm putting it in a goddamn video and you can watch it at your leisure. I'm allowed to be angry. I'm allowed to be upset because I just lost my best fucking friends for a decade. A fucking decade. 
I put out a video two days ago crying like a bitch. Being vulnerable and honest with my feelings and the hurt that I felt. If you haven't seen that video, three of you, go fucking watch it. Maybe now you can understand why I'm so goddamn angry. As far as I'm concerned, the person who had the decency to fucking tell me what was going on and illuminate my eyes to, like, how fucking bad of a judge of, a judge, I, a judge y'all's character, aside from him and his girlfriend, I don't want to be friends with you guys anymore. I don't want to reconcile. Because that would... Because... I don't think you're capable of the amount of, like, I have no problem atoning long-term for my mistakes and making you feel comfortable. But even then, I only have, for the person, for, for the person I had that three-year rift with, you're the only person that I have a game plan to fix with. The other two were just happy to get rid of me. How do, how, how do, how do I fix that? I can't make somebody like me. I'm not into I'm not saying people's emotional safety isn't important. It absolutely is. What about my safety too, man? I'm not saying it's more important or less important. I'm just saying it's a variable on how we could have fucking fixed this. And y'all did not care enough to. And that really hurts. If you guys want... If, you, if, 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 if me being other was such a bad part, bad thing, and fine... I don't need you. I'll, as far as I'm aware, like, I don't, like, I got other friends. Friends that have the decency and, frankly, the maturity to talk to me and it be honest with me because they care and respect about me as much as I care and respect about them. Even the ones with social anxiety, crippling social anxiety and the fear of combat. They still did that shit with me. And if not, and here's the thing. Guess what? When I have friends with social anxiety and crippling, and crippling social anxiety and a fear of conflict, you know what they fucking did? They used an intermediary every goddamn time there was an issue. Every time. Every goddamn time there was an issue. I understand that the people in this group can't communicate for shit. But for God's sakes, at least have the respect to go talk to one of the... If you have a problem, had a problem with me, at least have the decency to go to someone who can and ask them to relay the information so we can resolve it. It may not seem like it right now because I'm fucking angry and hurt. But when I get called out on my shit, I'm, I am happy to fix my behavior. More than happy to fix my behavior. But you didn't do that. And so now I find out that I, the person I've known for the last three years, doesn't exist. I find out that two of my friends don't even fucking care enough about me to be willing to put effort, to, 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 like, to, to find another solution. No, just get rid of him. He was different from us anyways. Real fucking inclusive. Y'all are a paragon of, of, of diversity, inclu inclusivity, and liberalism. That's coming from... And that sarcasm is coming from a goddamn communist. I don't know what else to say, man. I just lost... Three friends that I have known since I was a child. Ten years. Flush down the toilet. 
And here's the thing. If you made it to the end of this, I commend you. And I appreciate you for not running away from your feeling, from, from hard feelings, and actually caring enough about me to actually watch this entire thing. If you had pinged me directly, or hell, even if the person who said, yeah, he's got to go, pinged me directly with this shit, it could have been in the same clinical, verbose language, had pinged me directly and said, hey, Evan, we need you to stop. We need you to cut. We've talked as a group and we need and we and, 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 the, and we need this to happen. I would have been fine with that. We wouldn't be here. But you did the equivalent of somebody sitting down at a lunch table and then everybody starts castigating him. And that was the final red flag of all this stuff. It wasn't the private group chat that I, that was, that I saw that was visible to me for like a week that I wasn't able to join called admin chat. It was the fact that I haven't met, you know, the person of the three, it's the it's reason I haven't met your goddamn significant other and wondering, why haven't I met him? I'd love to meet him. Da -da -da -da. That's why I haven't talked to you in two months. It's also why, it's also why whenever I hop into voice chats, conversations stop. Tones shift. I, I was, I was in, I was a social outcast for seven years when I was in high, middle and high school. I know the goddamn signs. And the irony is, is I, what, y'all were the friends that I had that didn't treat me like that. I really hope y'all grow up. I don't say that to like dig a knife in or to be dismissive, but I genuinely do because I really hope that the next friends that the three of you have, you don't treat like you treated me. And if you have issues with them, you fucking communicate with them. And if, and if and and before you say, oh, you're just angry, all that, I could have used your names. I could have outed you. I could have added a lot of things. But I still love and I still care about you on some level. I just want you to understand why I am so angry. Because all of that sadness from that previous video has turned into this frustration anger, and hurt. I love you guys. Despite all of this, I still do. And I wish I was worthy enough of... No. Forget I said that. I wish you guys the best fucking life you can. I hope I hope one of you can move out of that god awful house with your god awful parents. I hope one of you is able to to continue working on your computer, working out and and get in and, and bettering yourself and, and, and being happy. I hope one of you I don't I hope one of you is able to finish up college and go be successful. Only one of you wanted to stick around and be friends with me because only one of you actually cared about me as much as I thought, as, as much as I cared about them. And I'm appreciative of that. I deserve better. I'm not perfect, and I know that. But by God, man. It's truly disgusting that how how you can just be made to feel like you were nothing to someone for so long after being feeling like something to them for so long. As far as anybody else who happens to see to this video and get to the end, um, I'm going back to my regular uh, upload schedule. 
and dumb. I feel better now. 